Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Frel, your professor in research and social studies. Our lesson for this day is on the definition of the subject research. The first question is, what is research? Authors have defined research as a systematic investigation into which materials sources are being used to establish some facts in order for you to reach a new conclusion. It is also an endeavor to which we discover new ideas or collate old facts from scientific study of a certain subject. Some said that research is what we do when we have questions or some problems that we want to resolve. Sometimes we may have answers to our questions already. We may have some thinking that an answer to a question is obvious, that even common sense can give us an answer to that. But until we have subjected such problem to a rigorous scientific scrutiny, then our knowledge for that remains little more than but a guesswork or at best intuition. When we do some research, first priority is to formulate our question. Then figure out how you're going to answer it. This might be some questions that will come to your mind. How will your proposal fit with what others have done? Have others answered it? Or how will we know when we have answered the question? By that, you can now present your answers. Authors have provided some characteristics of a good research. There are actually 13 characteristics. First is, research is systematic, meaning it follows some procedure. Second, research is controlled, meaning there might be a court group to which we will base our new data. Third is it is empirical. Since it is a scientific inquiry, it is expected that research should be objective. It is analytical. It progresses through deeper analysis of data. Research is objective, unbiased, and logical. And as such, research employs hypothesis. Hypothesis that needs to be tested. It is also an original work of a researcher. And of course, research is done by an expert. When you are done doing your paper, you can be considered as expert in your own field. Next, research employs qualitative and some statistical method, particularly in testing your data. It is supposed to be an accurate investigation, observation, and description. When we say accurate, it must be 
free from doubts, particularly of your readers. Research is patient in an hurried activity. It cannot be done overnight. It requires an effort-making capacity. No such thing, no research cannot be considered as a fortress activity. You have to exert more of your efforts for you to come up with a good research. And last, research requires courage from the researcher, an attitude that a researcher has to possess. There are some classifications of research. The first is according to purpose. This includes predictive or prognostic research, directive research, and illuminative research. Second is according to goal. This being basic or pure research or an applied research. Third, according to the levels of investigation under which we have exploratory research, descriptive research, and experimental research. And we have According to the type of analysis, either uses an analytic approach or a holistic approach. Next is, according to the choice of answers to problem, it might be an evaluation research or a developmental research. Next is according to statistical content. What is? It might be a quantitative or a statistical research and a non-quantitative research. And next is according to time element. We have historical research that describes what was. In short, it talks about the past. Second is the descriptive research that describes what is, meaning what is present. And third is an experimental research that describes what will be.